Hello everyone, my name is Jesse. This is The Auditorium. If you're new, I like to react to video game music from games I've never played or heard about. And today I'm gonna to be doing a Patreon request for both Mooney and Bifrost. This is Wild Arms, To the End of the Wilderness. I guess also maybe known as Into the Wilderness. I'm not sure which is which, but this is the intro. And I have checked out Wild Arms once before, I think maybe twice, as well, I'll put it right here. And uh, I just remember it being some sort of like anime kind of intro or something like that. It was a while ago. But either way, let's just get into it. It's the first reaction of the day. This is to the end of the wilderness or into the wilderness. You guys let me know. The nylon guitar. Two lead guitars. Oh my god. Hold on. No way. Oh, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> I'll tell you why later. Bro, this looks so beautiful. putting on my cowboy hat and just riding into the sunset. Dude, what is Wild Arms? Is that a mouse on his shoulder? <laughs> triangle at the end just to really cement it that's how I feel right now <laughs> that's the feeling of um, I'm about to embark on a journey of wild arm requests wild arms dude oh my god in the first 10 seconds I fell in love with it and I'll tell you why um well, first of all, I heard the the, the nylon guitar, aka the classical guitar, which is what I play. <clears throat> so that was cool, right? But I noticed immediately there was like two... Uh, usually when there's two guitars, there's like a rhythm and a lead. This time it was kind of like two leads. On one pan, we had the little... Da -da 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 -da, you know, that thing, the chords. And then over here, you had the, um, the lead. But they were both kind of doing a solo. Anyways, when the whistle came in, like a wave of nostalgia just hit me because I've mentioned them before but my favorite composer in the entire world is Ennio Maraconi. Rest in peace. Probably one of the most, no, he is the most, one of the most influential composers of our time. Um, if you know the infamous Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, da -na 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 -na. Wah, wah, wah. that guy, yeah. Which also is an amazing song, by the way. So I'm, I'm really into, like, westerns, uh, spaghetti westerns, because those are the, like, those movies are just incredible, like the, the Dollar series, or the Dollar trilogy, right, with Clint Eastwood. Oh my god, dude. It had, like, that was 100% inspired by him. 100%. When the whistle came in, uh, what made the Enyo 
music special is it was just mostly the guitarist slash the whistle guy. I believe his name is, oh, I think it's Alessandro, Alessandroni, I think. He has that like infamous whistle, that like Western whistle, that's him. And he's playing the guitar too. This song sounds so much like it almost sounds like copied um, for a few dollars more, the main theme, which again is you know, Marconi and it's the second movie of the Dollars trilogy. It goes A Fistful of Dollars, which also has music that's very similar to this, for a few dollars more, which is one of the best movies of all time and the one that sounds like this, and then The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, which is the one most everyone knows. Now, this isn't a movie like channel or anything, but I'm just saying, if you're into those movies, or if you're into that um, style of movies, then you know what I'm talking about. If you're not, I highly recommend checking them out because Westerns kind of have this weird stigma of like they're kind of just boring or kind of weird, like not those. Those stories are incredible and the music is just as incredible because it's just kind of like always there. It's not just in select spots, it's kind of like everywhere. It adds this like almost comic book type feel to these stories. So I really, really, really resonate with this kind of stuff. So that brings me to this now. I, I'm, I'm guessing, I don't know actually. This, the game doesn't look very, you know, Western. Or anything like that but maybe just the music is inspired completely but the rest of the game may be completely different so that's where my curiosity comes in because you know i see this and i think of like anime and you know into the wilderness which means it's like the beginning of something you know the journey is about to begin which again is so funny because it sounds like the intro song to for a few dollars more that's so crazy that's so crazy of course i'm talking about this song a lot so I'll put it in the, the comments below so you can decide for yourself if you think it sounds similar, which it will. I'm very, very impressed by this game's soundtrack because of the, uh, you know, the homage. It's clear as day. And when you start talking about my favorite stuff, well, then you're like, you know, I'm going to ramble about it. But... I, yeah, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's an RPG, if it's just a hack and slash. I don't know. But I'm definitely getting like big adventure vibes, big journey. I also don't know why it's called Wild Arms. It's also very ominous. <sighs> Either way, I don't have much to say besides the fact that I really, really appreciate that people still love the uh, art that is like spaghetti Western music. And it's just so cool. <laughs> Because it's it's one of those kind of genres where it's like, it's almost like a meme. But once you look past the meme, you realize that it's like just truly beautiful storytelling in musical notes. And a lot of it's super heartfelt. You know, there's like, like some opera stuff. And uh, it's, just, it's just fantastic. So that that's it. I don't know. Great. Fantastic. I'm not going to, I'm not going to forget it anytime soon or ever. I want to know more about it. <laughs> but yeah, anything like that and similar will always catch my attention right away. Just It's just such a, I don't know, it takes me back to being a kid and like watching these movies with my dad and stuff. So if you guys have memories with any of these movies, um, let me know. Or this game, of course, this game. Uh, we can't forget it, this game. Because <laughs> the game is what brought us here. But man, it's just... I don't know. It's just a wonderful thing to see and hear. And I'm really grateful for it. So that's it. That's all I got. It's just nostalgic and beautiful. And now I have to go watch those movies because I have to. <sighs> With that being said, if you want to make your own request, you could do so on Patreon or you could do so on PayPal. Either are totally okay, but neither are necessary. They just guarantee that I will check out your song if you do not mind waiting. But speaking of waiting, there's quite a wait list but if you want to skip that wait uh there is a platinum trophy tier on patreon which means you do not have to wait and that is a limited slot tier so first come first serve that is my highest tier available and it's there for a reason so big shout out to fly 
Jack, Celador, and Rogue Monk for being supporters of that. Thank you so much. And thank you to all my other supporters. Thank you to Bfrost. Thank you to Mooney as well. <laughs> it's one of those days. We're starting off good. That's the first thing I hear for the day, so... Until next time, dudes, and until next time to the dudettes, my name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.